We just finished to install the IDE program for Arduino and processing. So now uh, let's take a look at the source code from the Arduino source code. We can open the uh, Arduino source code, Arduino sensing uh, using the Arduino the IDE. Then you can see the source code on this screen. Before we start to review, uh, that we'd like to enlarge the font because this is too small. Then how can we do that? Let's go to the edit menu and then select all. And then we can select all that uh, uh, source code. After that, move to the preference menu. And we can change the font size from 12 to 24 two times. Now it's much better to strap the source code. Now uh, let's take a look item by item. First thing we have to do is to include the library from the Arduino. The first uh, library we'd like to get is the uh, software serial.h uh, uh, so that we can use this software serial to communicate with the software serial window as you see. And not only displaying the uh, output data onto this uh, soft serial window, we will transfer this serial output to processing and processing will store the data onto CSV file later. Next thing we would like to import is DHT.h, the library which is for that uh, temperature and humidity sensor library. In order to import external library, previously we manually installed, but now it's very convenient because we can use the sketch menu and external library menu. And if you click the manage library, then you can see the uh, window, new window, then you can search it. The DHT, what you want then we can refer the whole library, related library. Then you can select the proper library and install, then you can use. The next thing you have to do is the de uh, definition. First, DHT as a uh, humidity sensor and define the some pin, the uh, wind one dash pin is uh, 0, uh, wind uh, 2 dash pin number is 1, and DHT uh, the pin is number 4. So it's very convenient way to control because as if you change the port itself, you just uh, define here and change this port number, then we don't need to refer all source code. Next, we will define the sensor value array uh, to get the result. Uh, we will put the, the six uh, numbers of result into this uh, array. Let me explain the basic structure of Arduino code. Uh, there are two parts. The first thing is the setup. Uh, setup function means that uh, the initializes the work for this program. So we will put that all source code into the setup uh, function. And next one is a routine work actually that uh, uh, is running through that the program run that uh, all the source code is put into the loop function. Let's return to the setup function. The first thing we have to do is to uh, initialize the uh, setup the CDO to port to board rate as uh, uh, 9600. If you set up the board rate is the speed of transmission is 9600 and it communicated with the serial port as you've seen. And you have to synchronize the same the board writers onto that uh, serial port window. Now let's move to the loop function the, which we will learn through the, this pro, uh, program. First thing we will do on loop function is to get an analog read from the analog port 0 and analog port 1. Uh, uh, we will get this signal from the anonymous the wind speed sensor 
first thing wind one pin it means that uh, zero that means that analog zero we get this signal uh, and put it into that the variable wind sensor one and same way that we will read the uh, wind two dash pin it means that uh, uh, number one pin analog pin and we will read uh, this nanometer the signal the output signal and then put it into the, the variable another variable wind sensor 2 and then we will put uh, this uh, the output from the nanometer uh, into the variable uh, variable array this uh, sensor value variable uh, array uh, as you know that the uh, array is starting from number 0 so the first array value, the sensor value zero, we will put wind sensor one uh, and formula this. As you, uh, as we studied in the previous section, that this is the formula to get the voltage uh, from the nanometer wind sensor. So that the first room, that the first array, that the uh, number zero array sensor the bell, we will put that. Uh, uh, voltage information from the first uh, nanometer. And can you remember that this formula that multiplied the six times to the, this voltage? It, it means that uh, uh, the wind speed itself, so that we will calculate the wind speed from the nanometer analog zero volts and put it into the wind speed. The second array element, uh, sensor bell. Uh, one, we will put this num uh, this value, and same way to the second nanometer, so from the analog uh, number uh, uh, one pin. So we will calculate uh, the output to that uh, voltage information and put it into the array number two. Uh, is a third element of the uh, sensor bell array, and same way we will calculate with the six times to calculate the speed of the second uh, nanometer wind speed sensor and then get wind speed and put it in the fourth element of the sensor value number three array. As I mentioned this formula that uh, the multiply six and multiply some number here, uh, I already explained the previous section that it's a specification of the nanometer manufacturer so you can refer to my previous lecture about this formula. We just calculate based on specifications. And next one is to get the humidity and temperature. This is the syntax from the DHT library. We read the DHT 1-pin. It means the digital number 4. So it is connected to the our that the sensor. Then we can read uh, the humidity from DHT that humidity and uh, DHT temperature. So we will put this one to the uh, fifth and sixth element of the variable sensor valve four and sensor valve five. Then we can put all information into that uh, variable. And now we'd like to print to the serial port, serial port, uh, uh, and it will transmit to that the processing. So in order to that uh, uh, put this value to the processing, the we'd like to put the comma uh, between the value uh, and value, uh, each value, uh, because the processing will recognize that and separate the the value by this comma. So we will that put print uh, the each element of the variable sensor variable uh, zero and comma sensor variable one comma and the last one we will print rn print rn means that it is the uh, carriage return that complete this one and after that uh, we will delay one second it means that uh, every one second we will get the information from the sensor and put the uh, output uh, value uh, to the serial port everyone. If you don't subscribe this channel, please click the subscribe button. And please enjoy other contents.